Life at the Mountain family, welcome back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. It's been since April that we put out a video, but it's only because we had a little stuff going on. Well, a lot of stuff going on, but we are good. But right now I want to do a video. I've had so many people to say, hey, the last video you put out was about a bar. Let's see what you've done. Have you updated it? So without further ado, I shall take you around to our bar. If you remember from our last video, we did get the five piece bar set, but we decided to say everybody deserves another shot. So we put us a bell up and we also put up our little um, poster so that everybody knows, hey, it's shot time. But the main character for this event is the bar. It is our Sam's five piece bar, has the ceramic top. Um, nothing changed on that, it's still the bar. I added some accessories, so that's one of the things I wanted to get back in and talk to you about because that's mainly what everyone was asking me. They were asking me about the um, actual accessories for the bar. So we did go and get these um, bar mats. I got two of the long ones. So when you're serving your friends and your family, you can just sit the drinks up here so you can line up shots, you can line up wine, you, whatever it is, you line it up. We also went with the larger mats. Normally I'll put my ice bucket here and I'll have whatever alcohol that we're serving or whatever drinks we're serving sitting here. Um, and then we also have another mat over here that we use the same as well. I also got this caddy. Um, these are nice to have. It's almost like when you're at the bar, you have your napkins in there, you have your stirs or your straws. And then I got a, went a little extra strip and got some umbrellas so they're nice to put in the drinks as well. And then we have another drip mat here. I usually place the cups there and anything else that might require liquid that may waste or whatever, I put that there. Underneath in this area is where you have your wine glasses and you can stack your wine here. Most of the time our guests aren't wine drinkers, but they are cocktail drinkers. So I usually have a pre-mix ready and then for our non-alcohol drinkers, we also offer them an option as well. Here are all the plugs. This is what keeps this bad boy running as far as the refrigerator and any other accessories that you want to plug in, you can plug them in here. Um, so this will get a little, you know, it might look a little messy, but it's behind the bar. Nobody sees it, but me, the bartender, you have your USB plugs as well. Down on the bottom, we use that to store. So when it's hot out here, we have a fan and it is a battery operated fan. So we have that down there as our charging station. And then this right here, we love karaoke. So if you have a bar and you got a karaoke, man, it is an absolutely hoot. You have a good time and people are hanging around there, having them a nice drink and they're singing karaoke. So we have the karaoke machine. You still have there in here. I mean, I'm sorry. You still have the two drawers. They have the trash cans in there, but we decided not to put the trash cans in there. I use this as a storage. So I have a huge bin in there. Matter of fact, I'll show you. So I just put a huge bin in there and I, all my things for my bar, my essentials, I tuck them in there and it's sealed tight so I don't have to worry about anything getting in on them. And then we just set the trash cans on both sides of the bar. The one thing I do love is that we were able to insert this refrigerator. This is a Frigidaire refrigerator. Um, I love this refrigerator. It's able, I'll open it up. Because I'm able to keep all of my drinks and my mixers and anything else nice and chilly while we're down here. This is a Frigidaire. I did get it from Amazon. The only thing I don't like, this is the lowest that this will go at 37 degrees. I don't know if you can see it, it may be a glare. But I like to keep my drinks at about 33 because we have a center beverage station on our um, refrigerator up top. And it's usually about 33, but it's still cold. It's still good. If it's 80 degrees or 100 degrees outside and you get a drink that's 37, you pretty much gonna know it's chill, right? The other thing that we did add is this is under our Yardistry gazebo. So we added some bar pendant lights. Um, I will show you night footage, but these are the pendant lights that we have hanging down from there to give it that real bar foot feel. There's a lot more decorating that I want to do because this is going to be themed after a sports, sports, a sports bar. So we'll have all kinds of sports paraphernalia hanging on it as well. On this back side, we're gonna do something very cool. So when we get that project going, I'll make sure that you are a part of this process. 
Um, so we do have the TV here, but right now it's just sitting here. We watch it. You know, we still have some cable management things that we have to work on. You know, I, I show y'all the raw because that's exactly what it is, but it'll be fixed and it's going to be so nice. And I can't wait to get y'all a part of that video. We also, I told you about our karaoke machine. We'll usually strap up the speaker up here and then we'll have the words on the television and everybody's taking part in that. Now, I know you saw me ring the bell earlier, but a bar is not a bar unless you've got your shot of clock going on. So that's the whole purpose of getting the bell. We like that because everybody deserves another shot. So just to kind of give you an update out, sick, doing okay now. We'll be back on track with getting our videos out. Whether you are a Bartesian family fan or whether you're a Blackstone family fan, we have videos for all of that coming down the pipe, even down for our outside. We've got videos coming. Stay tuned. Thank you for being patient. Thank you for checking on me. Thank you for emailing, commenting, all that stuff that you all do to let me know that you care. Thank you so much. Well, I also kind of got off script because I want you to see the night vision or the outside of the shot when it's nighttime and this bar is lit up. So what it is, we have a tip jar right here. I didn't think I shared that, but in here where everybody puts their tips, it locks in the back. So if they got a cup, they got the tip in. That's my saying. But at night, you see that the pendants are lit. You see that we have lighting going around the top of the gazebo. And there's also lighting underneath the um, bar so we have this whole place lit up it is absolutely gorgeous at night i love it our family has such a good time i hope that you enjoy it i hope that you got some ideas if you have any questions you know what to do drop it in the comments i will i will answer them as soon as i see them so thank you so much family for watching our hope for this channel that it inspires empowers entertains and keeps you informed be blessed family